Justin Trudeau refuses to admit his grocery costs, a response to a parliamentary order paper question posed by Alberta Conservative MP Chris Workington would only result in the disclosure of a long-standing prime ministerial policy of reimbursing for the average cost of food for an average Canadian household. The order paper question asked the feds to disclose how much funding has been provided to pay for food expenses for the prime minister, Justin Trudeau, and his family and his guests, broken down by year and use of funding since 2016. After eight years of Trudeau, it now costs over $2,000 for a two bedroom. When I was housing minister, it was $1,000. The reality is we have the worst housing pr prices in the G7 after eight years of Trudeau, which is crazy when you think about it because we have the most land to build on. It should be cheap to build a home. According to the response provided by the parliamentary secretary to the prime minister, Terry Duguid, who is also a Liberal MP for Winnipeg South, as per a long-standing practice in place since 1985, the Prime Minister reimburses amounts related to food expenses on Statistics Canada data on household spending, which is adjusted using the Consumer Price Index to account for inflation. So, to be clear, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau does not reimburse the taxpayer for his groceries. He reimburses the taxpayer for the average cost of groceries to the average Canadian household. Do you think Justin Trudeau is eating average Canadian groceries? I saw, I saw, I saw Canada, Canada Force 1. Big day. That's quite funny, it seems uh, not quite as big as you guys. The Aussies are very bad. Well, we're involved very small. In anyway. Now, the lack of transparency about Trudeau's lifestyle. Well, it's a bit of a practical choice for the Liberal government, as an April 1st carbon tax hike from $65 a ton up to 80 is foisted upon Canadian families. And as you said in, in, in the introduction about the parliamentary budget officer, I mean, he, he acknowledges that uh, he doesn't take into account the cost of, of, uh, and the, of the impacts of climate change. Now, according to Bank of Canada head Tiff Macklem, the carbon tax is a key driver of inflation. You said the impact of the carbon tax was about, what, 0.15% uh, uh, on inflation. I'm just wondering how you arrive at that number and whether that gets factored in through not just uh, energy costs, but all the, all the inputs, because obviously there's a lot of inputs in yeah. agriculture um, and manufacturing. Yeah. It's a good question, and, and you know we can we can take this offline if you want. But yes, that is the direct impact on the components that are most directly affected. It does not include any second round effects. And of course, inflation makes the average Canadian's grocery bill that much higher. Now, Trudeau's grocery bills in the past have revealed some bizarre and over-the-top spending. Spending that's out of step with the average Canadian household and out of step with Justin Trudeau's own flagship policies. And what do you and your family do to cut back on plastics? Yeah. Uh, we uh, uh, we have uh, recently switched to drinking uh, water bottles out of uh, water out of uh, when we have water bottles uh, out of a uh, plastic uh, sorry away from plastic towards uh, paper um, like drink box water bottles sort of things. There's there's a number of choices we can make as consumers uh, that will. Uh, do better and every consumer needs to look at ways they can make smarter choices in their consumptions. Uh, we certainly do that on a daily basis uh, as we've switched from uh, plastic water bottles to uh, to paper water bottles um, or cardboard water bottles but there are uh, uh, there's always more things to do and we're looking forward to continue that. You see although Trudeau banned single-use plastics in 2021 after signing onto the G7 Plastics Charter in 2018 and access filing by yours truly at Rebel News in 2019 uncovered a monthly taxpayer subsidized expense for the Trudeau family of $300 on bottled water. Let me say that one more time. The Trudeau family is billing the taxpayer $300 a month for bottled water and reimbursing us for the average that the Canadian family would spend on bottled water a month. How much do you spend on bottled water a month? Now, the plastic hypocrisy doesn't just run in the Trudeau family. It runs across the whole of the Trudeau government. A previous order paper question posed by Conservative MP Michelle Rempel Garner back in March 2020 discovered enormous bottled water expenses 
at multiple government ministries since 2017. For example, the Department of Fisheries and Oceans spent over $73,000 in two years on bottled water. They tell me that we have to get rid of single-use plastics to save the oceans. Global Affairs also spent almost $1 million on bottled water between 2017 and 2020. However, the number could be much higher because the ministry admits it doesn't track bottled water as part of a meal expense. So what do you think? What are they hiding in Justin Trudeau's grocery bills this time? For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. I am, of course, going to file for Justin Trudeau's grocery bills because I want to know what he is forcing the taxpayer to buy him while only reimbursing us for the average Canadian family's grocery bills. To help me get access to those, please make a donation at our access filing fund at rebelinvestigates.com.